If you really wanted to, you could quite literally become a completely new person in one summer. You have so much time to really achieve or be on the right route to achieving what you want to achieve. If you follow all of these steps I'm about to tell you, I promise you, you will be a completely different person at the end of the summer and you will be so grateful for having watched this video. The basics, we need a strong foundation. First of all, sleep. Eight plus hours of sleep every single night, no negotiations. Find a way to do it. If you have to go to bed earlier, go to bed earlier. You have to and can wake up later, wake up a bit later. Eight hours of sleep every night is crucial. You wanna try and wake up and go to bed at the same time. That way, when you wake up in the morning, you don't feel so tired. Your body's accustomed to it and your body knows that it has to wake up now. Hydration, buy a big water bottle. This is not sponsored or anything. Okay, I'm just showing you my water bottle. I've got one of these. Uh, it's, it's a two liter water bottle, it's massive. I carry it around everywhere. But the idea is, if you're constantly carrying around a massive water bottle, it's gonna force you to drink a lot more water. If you're drinking two of those a day, you're doing great. That's, you're staying really well hydrated. Cut out all fast food. Stop eating fast food. Stop eating crap. Whole, healthy, whole foods, organic if you can. If you can only do one thing uh, in terms of nutrition, just cut out fast food. Cut out processed food. Right, so those are the basics. Those are the, the everything else is a building block upon that. If you have those three things in order, you are in very good shape and ready to move forward. Right, next thing, write down 10 goals that you want to achieve for this whole summer. Number one is the most important thing, your primary, your main goal that you want to achieve. Okay, number 10 is like not that important, something you'd like to achieve. So they go in order of importance from one to 10. So write down 10 things and then cross out the bottom seven things. Okay, put all your focus in the top three things. One thing I noticed with myself I was trying to achieve too many goals at one time. I was trying to do too many things at one time. In my head, it was like, oh, I'm working so hard. I'm, I'm doing this, then I'm doing that, and then I'm doing this and that. It's like you're working really hard for absolutely minimal results. You have to hone in on a few things only. Maximum three things. You have to put all your attention to those things. Your attention is really limited. You only have so much attention in a day to give to, to something. So really think about what you're giving it towards right? Maybe you want to lose weight or maybe you want to get shredded. Maybe you want to build muscle. Then you set up a workout plan for yourself. If you do need a workout plan, hit my website, hit up my website. You'll find calisthenics plans, become a calisthenics beast. That can be one of your goals as well. Maybe it's to make some more money. Maybe it's to further your, your job or your business. So put that as number one. And when you plan it, work backwards, right? So maybe the end goal is to lose weight. To lose weight, I need to lose seven kilograms. Okay, let's work back. How do I lose seven kilograms? Okay, I need to do cardio then to lose seven kilograms probably. Okay, what's the best way to do cardio? Fasted in the morning before I've eaten so it directly burns the fat. Okay, how many times do I need to do that? Five times a week, four times a week. You see, you're working backwards, right? You're working step by step, clearly, precisely backwards. What do I need to do to get from A to B? What do I need to do to get from B to C? And then eventually you'll go from A to Z. Z being your final goal. Take action on your distractions. So you need to first analyze what is distracting you. What is distracting your focus? For me, it was my phone. So maybe I'd be editing a YouTube video, I'd be working in my room, and every like 15 minutes I notice I just check my phone or a notification would pop up and I check it and then once I'm on my phone, I, then I check Instagram, then I check YouTube and then I check, and I've been on my phone for like 10 minutes now. And it's just, and then when I put down my phone, my, my attention, my focus is, is not really there anymore. So I analyze this and I realize you, you have to take a step back. You have to detach from the situation and analyze what is stealing your focus. Okay, my phone. So now what am I going to do to stop that from happening in the future? Put, I put my phone outside my room every time I am editing. Every time I'm working, my phone is turned off out of my room, away from my reach. It's not possible to be distracted by my phone. So that's what you gotta do with your distractions. Take a step back, detach, analyze what's distracting you and remove it from the situation so it's not possible to distract you in the future. Day-to-day -day goals. Write down exactly today what you want to achieve. Even if it's just one or two things, but write it down because when you start writing things down, it starts forcing you to stay true to your word. At the end of each video, you notice I say, love and peace, respect yourselves. 
What does respecting yourself actually mean? Respecting yourself means staying true to your word. If you say you're gonna do something, you do it. I do this with calisthenics rep challenges, right? So I wrote down the other day, I was like, I'm gonna do 200 push-ups and 200 dips. And I wrote it all down, all the reps to split them up. And I was got to like halfway and it was feeling, you know, I was looking at the time, I was a bit short on time. I wasn't feeling too good. If I hadn't have written it down, I probably would have stopped short. I probably would have stopped short. But because I wrote it down, I can see exactly, I'm looking at my word, right? I'm literally looking at my word. I said I was going to do this. So am I, am I gonna respect that now? Am I gonna follow through with it? Or am I just gonna stop short? Your feelings in the moment can cloud your reason, cloud your judgment, okay? So if you write down what you know you need to do, then it doesn't matter what you feel later on. You've written it down earlier, so I need to do it. Break the social barrier, okay? Go and speak to random strangers. If you go to the gym, challenge yourself to go and speak to one random stranger in the gym today. The reason I say this is because no matter what your goal is, no matter who you are, where you're going, learning to be good with people will be is incredibly important for everyone. I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm an expert. I'm not an expert at all. I am not an expert at all. I'm still going through the development stage myself, but it's what I'm doing. And it does, this doesn't mean if you're in a social situation, being the loudest there, speaking to absolutely everyone there, it means just being more confident and comfortable so socially, being able to speak to a random person in the gym, being able to speak to a random person on the train, just like that. As I said, I'm on this development journey myself with you, okay? I'm not an expert, I'm not a pro, I'm still working, I'm still trying to improve. If you wanna join me, we can hold each other accountable, we can give each other advice. I'm inviting you to join my group chat, join my Discord. Some people who have watched this video are gonna follow the advice and some people won't. Probably only very few people will, but some people definitely will. And those people who do follow the advice will be a lot further than everyone else by the end of the summer. You might even have similar or the same goals. And the person who does these things will ultimately get that end goal. The person who takes action, the person who takes it seriously will ultimately get the reward of the end goal. That's all that needs to be said. Thank you a lot for watching this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments. If we can hit 500 likes, that would be insane. Love and peace, respect yourselves.